Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I make my delicious ham and cheese croissants. They're so delicious, couldn't be easier to make. You're going to need just a couple ingredients, so let me take you over them to get started. You're going to need some store-bought frozen puff pastry. It's been thawed in the fridge overnight. And then your choice of cheese. I'm just using some cheddar and some smoked ham. You're going to need one egg with a little bit of water and salt and pepper. Now, if you want to, you could certainly make your own puff pastry, but I've made it puff pastry in the past plenty of times, and I can tell you it's a very labor-intensive process. It takes a very long time, and I just don't have the time or patience for it. And I think puff pastry is one of the greatest bargains in the supermarket. So you'll find it in the freezer section of any grocery store around the country, and then if you want to use it, just thaw it overnight in the fridge, and it's good to go. So. Your cheese and your ham, you can use whatever you want. I make so many varieties of this. I make prosciutto and mozzarella, I make provolone and salami, you name it. So for now, we're just gonna go right into it. The first thing you wanna do is get your oven hot to 425. Second thing you wanna do is take a baking sheet, line it with parchment paper, and get that ready. So now we're gonna work on the puff pastry. I'm going to lightly flour my work surface because I'm gonna roll this out just a little bit because I just wanna get a little, little bit thinner than it already is. So, just take my rolling pin and roll it out. That's looking good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half, then cut it in half again, and then you're going to cut it in half again. But you're going to do it this way, so that you have like little triangles when you're done. Now I put the rest of my triangles aside, and now what I'm doing with my hands is just working it so that you have the pointy side right in the center. Now here's how we're going to do this. You're going to take your ham and then you're going to just fit it, okay, just like that because these are going to be folded in anyway. Top it with your piece of cheese. You can do a little extra ham and cheese if you want, if you want them real cheesy. Whoops. Just like so. Another little half piece of cheese. Now I beat my little egg here with a little bit of water, and that's kind of going to make the glue, and it's going to make these really, really pretty as well when we're done. And now you're just going to fold them up, which is really simple to do. Just fold them on each other. Whoops. There you go. Just roll them. Just like that. That's how I make them. You want the little pointy end to be at the bottom. Don't worry, these will puff up, and they're not going to be like these huge croissants, but they're going to be puffed up and gorgeous. So continue to do those until they're all stuffed. Last one done. Look how cute they are. And I want to just give you a heads up really quickly. These are fantastic for brunch. They're fantastic for any time of day. But if you want to, you can make these ahead up until this point and then freeze them. So whenever you want to make them, just thaw them out overnight in the fridge and pop them in the oven the next morning. You have homemade ham and cheese croissants. I know. So. What I'm going to do now is brush the tops really well with the egg wash because it's going to help them brown and get lovely and beautiful and golden as they puff up. And then because these are savory, what I want to do is I want to sprinkle just a little bit of salt and pepper over the top just because, well, they're savory and I like it. Um, if I was making, say, Nutella croissants, then I would skip that step and then just finish them with confectioner's sugar, but for these, this is how I like them. A little bit of salt, not too much. And these are going to go into your preheated oven at 425 for about 15 minutes or so, or until they're golden brown and puffed up. My little croissants baked for about 15 minutes and they're lightly golden, they've puffed up and they're ready to be eaten, which is exactly what I'm going to do to this one right here. I'm really excited. That's going to be really hot. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. But hot. So delicious. So quick. So simple. And like I said, if you want to make them in advance and freeze them before you bake them, more power to you. So go ahead and do that. But as you can see, they don't take any time at all. They just require a few ingredients and they come out perfect every single time. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Go to www.laurainthekitchen.com to get the recipe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.